everyone, it's Jack from Cultaholic.com back again with another big news update. We have injury news regarding a major star on the SmackDown roster. We also have injury news about a star on the shelf and when he's scheduled to return. It's very soon indeed. And also news of a former WWE superstar who will be appearing on Impact Wrestling next week. So let's just all look forward to that. And remember, football's coming home. Of course it is. So yes, unfortunately, a certain SmackDown superstar is scheduled to have surgery very, very soon. Or maybe at the time of this video's release has already undergone it, I'm not quite certain, but the long and short of it is uh, they're expected to undergo surgery and that will mean they're out of action until SummerSlam and the identity of that person is Charlotte Flair. Now apparently this surgery is to fix a ruptured implant which Charlotte has been working with for quite some time now and has kept putting it off because big matches keep coming her way. Most recently, for example, the women's Money in the Bank ladder match. So fair play to her for working injured, you know, that takes a lot of guts and a lot of toughness, but um, it's good to see that she's finally getting the surgery that she needs. And it's good to see as well that she won't be spending too long on the shelf, although it does mean that she's gonna miss a little bit of action. Now, there's no word yet on whether she will be, um, you know, appearing to do promos and stuff on SmackDown Live, or whether she'll simply be completely gone from the shows. But I wouldn't expect her to see compete in the ring until SummerSlam. But then again, I wouldn't be surprised if she did compete at SummerSlam. In fact, I'd be surprised if she didn't compete at SummerSlam, given the stature of Charlotte and how big a star she is, not just in the women's division, but in the entirety of the WWE roster. In other news, according to the Wrestling Observer newsletter, Jason Jordan, otherwise known as Kurt Angle's illegitimate son, is set to return from injury soon. Very good news because Jordan's obviously had quite a sizable layoff and it came at a very crucial stage of his career as well, unfortunately for him. He was all set to turn heel by the looks of it, uh, turn on Seth Rollins and basically split up their tag team championship winning pairing, but instead he was sidelined with an injury. Now it looks as though he's back or should be back in July. He is apparently tentatively scheduled to return in July and hopefully his storyline just kind of picks up where it left off because Let's be honest, he wasn't really working as an effective babyface. There was a big negative reaction to his unveiling as Kurt Angle's illegitimate son. And I think it would be better for everyone, both the fans and Jordan himself, if he was quickly turned heel as soon as he came back. So yes, tentatively scheduled for July. Hopefully that means he's got enough time to come back build a program for SummerSlam and progress from there into the latter stages of the year. And finally, a big and controversial former WWE superstar is set to appear on Impact Wrestling next week. This comes via an official announcement from Impact's Twitter account and the identity of that man is Rich Swan. Swan was, of course, a big star of WWE's Cruiserweight division, looked to be a leading light of the brand heading into 2018. He won the Cruiserweight Championship, of course, and then lost it, and then was controversially released after allegations of domestic assault, and a domestic incident which took place, I believe, in a car on the way back from a show or something like that. It involved, it involved his wife, who has since dropped the charges and everything, but it was enough of a controversial situation that WWE decided to let him go. It looks like Impact have decided to take Rich Swan on. He's been making appearances recently on the independent circuit and will indeed be appearing for Impact next week. There is no word yet on what Swan's role will be in the promotion, but I strongly, strongly suspect that it's gonna have something to do with the X Division, because the X Division, of course, is the equivalent of WWE's Cruiserweight Division. It's high flyers, it's really agile guys, and basically, that's what Rich Swan is. He is a Cruiserweight wrestler. He is one of the most agile wrestlers in the world, and you know, he will fit in very well. However, I don't know what sort of reaction this is gonna provoke. I mean, a lot of people won't have heard of this news by the time he makes his appearance next week. Will it cause controversy online? Will his prior you know, domestic incident, rear its head again, will everyone be talking about that? And will Impact be pressured to let him go? Or will everyone put it aside and let him progress with his career? I don't really know, but it'll be interesting to see quite what happens. So that's it for now. Thank you very much for watching this news piece. I've been Jack from Cultaholic.com. You can follow me on Twitter at Jack the Jobber. You can follow all of us at Cultaholic. And if you are so inclined, you can check out our Patreon as well, patreon.com forward slash Cultaholic. And never forget, of course, to join us.